Okay, today we're going to be showing you our potatoes and we're going to mow our potatoes. So what is mow potatoes? Basically, mow potatoes is simply earthing up your potatoes. If you take a look down here, we can see our new potatoes coming. Now, another thing to keep in mind when we're doing our mowing, at this time of the evening, it is just around about 8 o'clock in the evening, 8 p.m. And the sun is still high, but it's another couple of hours before it will... Um, uh, go down actually be a, probably be about three hours before it go down and uh, uh, these are the long days so going back to uh, doing it in the evening or early in the morning what happens with the potatoes is that their leaves this one's still open but sometimes their leaves will close up like this they'll just become easier for you to do so it makes your job a little bit easier um, to, 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 to do the mowlin or to do the earthen up. So what is mowlin again? As I say, it's earthen up. We have some soil on this side. Take a sod. And we come in right close to our potato. This is our potato. We get another one here. Keep going. Come in nice and close. And keep going like this. Just to the one side of the potato. Come to the other side. Obviously you don't want to break the stock, but you're just coming in. You, you tuck it in as close as you can. Get another sod. Come in from this side. So from every side, you're getting each stalk. And we want it nice and high. The higher the better, depending on how much soil. If you cover a stalk or two, it does not matter too much, as long as you have the main stalks. And this process will take will occur, we go along like this, all the way through for our ridge, going down. We have one ridge going all the way down, uh, one another ridge, these are double ridges. On this over here we have a triple ridge, and uh, where we have one, two, three different uh, potatoes, and we have spaced them as you see about uh, this distance apart. Um, some people do less if they want to cram them in. I think this is uh, pretty, really, really good spacing uh, for a good yield. So we're going to show you, now in this case we made a ridge, but I'm going to show you something else. Because down here, not have a time to make the ridge it was uh, later on so we simply got them into the earth and you can even see them on this side so they're flush with the ground and what we'll do there is the same thing we're earthing up the potatoes and this has the benefit of giving additional nutrients for your stock of potatoes and it also keeps down any and suppresses the weeds that's in the background. And grass is about the last thing you want to go in, in here. So we want to suppress that as much as possible. Now we get it in. Uh, this process you can once, you can even do it twice. And we have somebody here that will not walk on our potatoes, right? You won't walk on the potatoes, right? not so sure. So um, this is the process of mowing up. Uh, later on we'll show you what we do um, in um, uh, if we do a spray. Now we have two varieties, two different types of potatoes. One is blight resistant and uh, we're going to leave that as is. But another one of course 
is susceptible like most potatoes are to blight and uh, we will give them a spray so um, of copper um, copper uh, a copper spray so that is our video today we hope you enjoyed uh, the the video I hope you get an idea of what's involved here and um, as I say that's the earthen up process and uh, we'll go along like that and cover our entire ridge thank you